Hello everyone and welcome to our midweek devotional update. Pastor Hogley with you today from Faith Lutheran Church here in Fond du Lac. By way of announcements as things relate to the ministry here at Faith, we would like to invite everyone to be with us this weekend for our special baptism weekend. There are several baptisms that are scheduled for the services this weekend and we are highlighting the blessings that God's Word speaks about in connection with the sacrament of baptism. Also, our weekend will include a, an opportunity for us to gather and thank the Lord for the blessings that have come to the ministry of Carol Neubauer as she retires. After 35 years in the teaching ministry, we thank our God for all of the blessings that he brought to his church through the work that she carried out in the classroom, sharing Jesus with the children. And of special note, then, our summer schedule for worship will begin the following weekend on May 29th, when our second service on Sunday, our late service, will begin at 9.30 instead of the 10.30 hour during our summer months, we will suspend our Faith Quest Sunday School program and our Sunday morning Bible class. For our devotion today, a word I'd like for you to, to ponder for a moment is connections or connectivity. In the world of cell phone usage, that is a big buzzword. Can you hear me now? People know what that means. The question of, do you have good reception? Is your cell phone provider giving you the coverage that you need so that you can make the calls, download the data, and not have dropped or missed calls? It certainly is a buzzword in the technology world, but it can also be a very important word when it comes to our spiritual life. Being connected to Jesus is so very important when it comes to our faith life. Being connected to Jesus happens when God's Word is a part of our life, regularly, daily, as we take time out of our busy schedules to be in the Word, where God's promises bless our faith, where we bring our families to worship on a weekly basis, whereby our faith is fed. We have the opportunity there to receive Jesus' true body and blood, that which paid for our sins. Connections, connecting to Jesus, so very, very important. We realize there are all kinds of things that interrupt our connection to Jesus. Just like in the technology world, there are all kinds of things that would cause the connectivity to be compromised. Sometimes those problems of connection to Jesus are from within our own heart. Sometimes they're from the world in which we live in. Sometimes they're from the devil himself, but they're very, very real. Sometimes we let our busy schedules disconnect us from Jesus. Sometimes we let our attitudes about sin and our own life keep us from God's word. Or maybe even the relationships that we have with others sometimes causes us to be disconnected from God and his word. Today in our Bible reading, Jesus speaks so very pointedly as to how important it is to be connected. Jesus tells us, that staying close to him is the way in which we will bear fruit of faith. That is, our lives will demonstrate trust in his promises, promises of forgiveness, promises to care for us, promises to guide us on a pathway to heaven. Those fruits of faith also help us to put our lives on display for the world to see, not so as to boast our own case before God, but just the opposite, to boast about our God to giving him all glory, honor, and praise for being the God of our salvation. And so as we stay connected, it is only through the word. The Apostle Paul wrote to the Romans, he says, Faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard through the word of Christ. Today our Bible reading comes to us from Jesus' own words recorded in John's Gospel, chapter 15. Jesus says, I am the vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit. 
while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself. It must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine. You are the branches. If a man remains in me and I in him, he will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not remain in me, he is like a branch that is thrown away and withers. Such branches are picked up, thrown into the fire, and burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be given to you. This is to my Father's glory that you bear much fruit, showing yourselves to be my disciples. These are God's words. We pray. Dearest Lord Jesus, we pray that you would continually keep us connected to you, for it is through that powerful word that we are connected. We ask that you would feed our faith through that word, that you would overcome our doubts, our fears, that you would give us the promises that we need each and every day to know that we are here in this world to give glory to your, uh, to your name and that one day you will take us to be with you forever in the glories of heaven. In your name, O oh Lord, we pray. Amen. Have a great week in the Lord, everyone. We'll see you all real soon.